don't know if I'm ever coming back to Florida. I don't know this, if I'm ever inviting you back. This this might be it. Oh my goodness. Florida is not being nice to me this year. It's never nice to me. This is this is one for the record books. I'm back on the road. I am headed from the west side of Texas. Oh, Jesus, I'm not in Texas. I'm headed from the west side of Florida over to the east side. I'm gonna meet up with Eric Estrada. He's got some cool stuff planned. He's been sending me pictures of tarpon and snook. Like I've been in Florida for about three days. You guys check out the videos I've done so far. Um, I'll tell you right now, it has been a rough go of being out here. Uh, running from storms, not fish not wanting to cooperate, you name it, we've been dealing with it. So, this is gonna be the one. Eric's been talking it up, man. I've been wanting to fish with him for so long. If you guys haven't already, man, make sure you hit like and subscribe and then go over to Eric's channel and do the same thing. He's an amazing artist, awesome fisherman, and he's one of those fishermen that, you know, doesn't need fancy, fancy stuff. He just wants to go get it done, and I'm excited to go out there and fish with him, but I gotta put the camera away, because I can barely see where I'm driving. I didn't even put it in my GPS yet. Florida is Florida. Right, guys we are finally on the water I got Eric here with me and uh, look this is how the morning's gone I had this awesome intro to the day we got in the truck we said probably some of the coolest things you've ever heard fly fishermen say the absolute coolest yeah they were <laughs> we we uh, got to the boat ramp turned on the camera, started filming a little bit, realized I didn't run, run the mic. I didn't have my mic on for any of it, so you guys won't get to hear any of that. And then we got the boat launch, start pulling out, realized I left the tiller extension in the truck, had to go back. I think at some point today we might actually fish. We're on the water. <laughs> yeah, We're like taking baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my flies. Like I had, uh, I have a little pad on my, in the back of my truck with flies. And Neil gave me like eight flies the other day, and I was like, I right, gotta make sure I grab those flies before we leave the house. And I forgot to grab them. And I just realized that now, like, I don't have those flies. I have like two or three flies, maybe. But I got some flies that are really good for Texas redfish. We'll see if those work here for Florida redfish. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we got no choice, right? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I think we should uh, let's go start fishing to see if we can get into something because it's already lunchtime. Jeez. Trying to figure out, I wanted to head north, but I looked up and I noticed there's some clouds, so I checked the radar. 
I checked the radar and the radar says that the storms are worse and larger to the north. So I'm trying to figure out if we should still do it. There's a couple bridges we could probably get shelter under. However, I don't know if it's gonna be like a 20 minute storm or an hour and a half to three hour storm. So with the fact, with as much wind as we have, it's probably gonna blow through quickly. But you just never know in Florida. It could be sunny one minute and then pouring for the next six hours. So kind of got to trust my gut at this point, I think. Florida, just leave me alone and let me catch a fish, please. We did see a couple nice we ones. We did see some really nice snooks so far, but uh, they were on the move. We couldn't get a good shot on them. And yeah, like Eric said, we got rain now. Alright, this audio is going to be shit because I'm doing this on my phone because I forgot to pick up my camera. Eric's going up and I've gotten fired again. <laughs> I'm not used to working around these trees, that is for dang sure. That's my excuse. Yeah, because I was going to say that you've had a few wide open, like this last shot was like... But I oh, caught the oh, tree yeah, on the back cast. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. It's going to be a challenge for me too because that's why I normally use the 8 foot 6 rod. It allows me to load the rod. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. No, it's true. He's gonna, Eric's gonna catch like three of them right off the bat, and then we'll go back to struggling with Pete. The struggle bus. That's what I, that's what I should call this, the struggle bus diaries. You do call it the rough log. It is rough. Yeah. Oh, there's one sitting underneath this log, three o'clock. He just started spooking. Crazy and thinking that they should just be annihilating. There's another one. Oh, no, that's a mullet. That's a. They were daisy chaining like tarpon swimming in a circle. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, they were just sitting low. They just came up and saw the boat. That's that's been my trip to Florida. I pretty much spoon fed that fish. How could have possibly made a better catch for you? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the good old cockroach fly. Works amazing. Great for uh, spooky fish. So let's see if we can catch something on it. Dude. They had like one more tail flip. He's back, he's back, he's back, he's back. They're back. Did you see how you got the tarpon in? It's true. The moment I moved the fly, he fucking took off. In the truck day five of florida beats up pete i think you need to just stay out of florida it's starting to really look that way it's just don't come here i mean we made some epic shots and 
I denied it. I'm blaming it on you. I thought it was it's your fault. I thought it was like a hundred percent me. <laughs> but when you got on the bow and were having the same issues of putting it in Snook's mouths and they were didn't want to eat it, I was like, all right, I feel a little better. Yeah, but it's your your. Uh, I'm not even gonna say it. I hate when people say, oh, it's the bad juju. But this no, ibis is trying to get gone. Yeah, the ibis is trying to get gone. Um, nah, it's just Florida, man. Some days they eat, some days they don't. Well, apparently they're on a fast. For yeah, the they're fasting. They're yeah, fasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, our church, they're fasting this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna go find some food and... Maybe a tarpon or two. Maybe a tarpon. Maybe we'll watch a tarpon not eat. Whoever put this fence here did not have fly fishermen in mind. Hopefully day two will produce the no fish, no catching of fish in Florida trip continues. Where's James? He just pulled up behind us, like okay. five cars All behind right. us, but yeah. So we're gonna make a left on, at this light. You see the light that has a green arrow pointing to Oh, the now that I got the camera on, on the left turning lane. You're gonna give me directions. <laughs> so we're gonna make a left. We had to go, we had to go to Walmart. Oh, oh come on. I got James, but I got to wait on. Don't there, start, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't even start with me right now. This guy has the most patience. That's why you're always wandering, huh? Yeah, just, I, guess. <laughs> I know where I have to go. I'm just going to wander my way around there this parking lot. There. So yeah, we had to go to Walmart because we um, met up with James. We were all stoked. We are getting ready to go fishing. And I realized that I didn't have a bite leader on my... Um, my fly rod and then Eric was like well I don't even have leader material and so we had to go get some cigar it's pretty good stuff I mean I don't really use the cigar premier pre premium it's premier. Too expensive for my taste uh, and then the Cortland leader which is also manufactured by cigar yeah or either cigar or Cortland manufactures the one the line for cigar I don't know but I know Cortland and cigar are made from the same factory yeah uh, it's not the same exact line, but it is made from the same factory, so this is good stuff. Well, at least the better one is. For tapping. We'll how, for tapping. Tapping. Yeah, we'll see how this one works. Um, one of the things that I've learned while fishing with Eric is that he knows where he's going, but not really, but sort of. <laughs> We've always ended up in the right place, but it is an adventure. It's not too bad for nuts. Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> Lord save us. Let's see if James makes this light. Oh, God. Yeah, you're going to be yelling. You're like, go fast, go fast. <laughs> All right, yeah, made the light. You, you went so slow, you probably made him get stuck at the light. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, we're not going to. No, what are you going? We're going to make a left. I'm letting him get back behind. Oh, oh this fucking red car. We got to go to the left, not the right. I know. I see you looking. I got it. Letting this car get past. Getting back over. We're gonna jump on the highway right now. We gotta travel about 45 minutes to the first spot. And we'll see you guys there. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I'm James Gilliam from Tampa Bay E-Bikes. We have three locations in the Tampa Bay area. We started our shop down at Indian Shores at the beach. Started up. Just a little. 
Here we go, finally. Is that enough video for you? That's gonna make the whole entire thing. I would stand up down there. Now that I see we can make a cast down here, I'll try to get that little mound and try to dump a cast out in the middle, right in the middle of the three, like the cross. Does it matter if the bikes get wet? Ooh, up, oh yeah, you got a freaking bow to the king. Give him slack, <laughs> not more tightness. That was a decent one. All right, we just said bye to James. It's pouring rain. What? Again. So uh, I don't know. What are we? What are we doing now? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. We gotta wait this out and fish the pockets of no rain. So it's gonna be like hopping in the truck, waiting a bit. Rain gets through, get out there, try to get some fish. It starts raining, jump back in the truck. Building right now. I don't know, man. I don't even know if fishing's gonna happen. This is gonna become the Pete Sucks story on my channel. Like, Dude. He told yeah. me he was bringing the bad luck with him. Wait. He when, surely did. Just make sure, like, you put it in there somewhere. Like, if you want to see more of Pete struggling fishing, like, check out his channel. He's got two <laughs> at, other at videos. PeteStruggles.com. <laughs> PeteStruggles.com. <laughs> check out Eric's channel. Go give it a subscribe follow. He's going to show you how this whole situation is supposed to work. <laughs> Not when I'm here. And uh, how it's been working all week before your <laughs> arrival. And how it'll work. Dude, you were sending tomorrow, me pictures all last week. <laughs> like, look at this one. Look well, at these. Fish. The thing is, the other spot that I wanted to go to, we didn't even get to get there because of the weather. Just... And, and then we talked to a guy who was like, basically, they were gonna flood that section. No, he said that section is flooding, and they're gonna, they're like, need to somehow fix the, uh, the spillway to get the water out. So the rain is keeping us from there. Yeah. Good. Cool. Great. Yep. So uh, yeah. Go. That's in my neighborhood, so we could go there if this passes faster, yeah. which it might because it's Florida. Shoot the podcast now, and then if we have like an hour or two, we could scoot on out there if it's not raining anymore. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Try to get done. And if it if that's the case, they wouldn't even be watching this outro. No. Because it would be a different Or I'll do this. And be like, but stick around. There might be another fish. <laughs> Hit like and subscribe, all that stuff. See you guys. But wait, there's more. <laughs>I'm headed up to Georgia. I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Austin Young and we're gonna do some fishing in Georgia. Uh, he and I have never fished where we're gonna be. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, do some exploring, do some camping, do some fishing.